for a new YouTube live. Uh, today we're going to create a really amazing gatefold card. This one's this one's like a little tiny twist, just a little twist on the gatefold because um, typically when we make a gatefold, you know, they try to meet right in the middle. Well, this one, I've come up with a fun little way we're going to overlap just a little bit. And I'm going to create um, a few different versions. So um, I always encourage you to create along with me. So I hope that you'll do that. Um, and I do need to tell you, I made a huge boo-boo and I gave you some incorrect, one incorrect measurement. Uh, I told you that the card measurement was going to be four by eight and a half. It's five and a quarter by eight and a half. I don't know what I was thinking, but there's, there's never a mistake in stamping. So I'm going to show you what to do if you've created, uh, if you've already cut your card stock four by five and a quarter, there's always a plan, right? All right. Well, real quick, I just want to uh, let those of you that are on live with me right now, it is February 10th, 11 a.m. Central Time. And we are on live. Brenda Paulson is there in the chat room and she's my fabulous moderator. She'll be answering any of your questions that you might have as we go throughout um, our crafting time today. And uh, if you're watching the replay, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, you can always find a link down in the YouTube description and you're going to be able to find this fabulous free download and all your measurements, the correct ones, <laughs> uh, all your measurements, everything will be there. And I would love for you to, on the replay, create along with me. It gives you that option of pausing. And uh, But don't worry, if you're on live, we're still going to be able to craft together. So uh, i tell you what, if you're going to give me just a second, I'm going to move my camera over. By the way, I have to tell you, I am just this close to some really fancy equipment that we're not going to have to do this anymore. My husband has rigged up this amazing system. So if you'll just give me one more week of having to play the roller coaster, I'm going to move my camera. So I always say, if you get motion sick, please look away. I hate having to do that to you. And then Facebook always does this weird little orientation thing for me. And now we'll rotate around. Sorry about that. And it looks like I am getting a cord. Why am I getting that cord? Hmm, that's not good. Let's just see if we could, oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to give me just one second. Sorry about that, my friends. All those things you try to plan on and then they don't work. There we go. We're back in business. <laughs> All right. So this is that download that I mentioned to you. And uh, Brenda will put a link there in um, the the comments. So you can go grab that. Um, I always encourage you to save it to your computer because when you do, you can click here if you ever need to watch the video again. You can click down here to see the full supply list. Order anything that you might need as well. But here I've told you everything that I've used, uh, my basic measurements, and some photos. And then you can always print this out as well. Uh, I know some people like to keep a binder of ideas. That way they can just flip through, um, see the projects. You can always see when I did it. You could always go back to Simply Simple Stamping on that date and uh, find the video if you've printed it out. But let me share my card that we're gonna create today. So this is my little twist on the gatefold. It's just a really simple one. Like I said, normally gatefolds, they meet right there and there's nothing overlapping, but we're just gonna do something a little bit different and we're gonna create an overlapping uh, gatefold. What I love about cards like this, and I'm sure you guys do too, is sometimes it's just nice to send a card that's a little bit different. But if you're a beginner stamper, this card is so easy peasy, double cheesy. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. This is one of those cards that you can make, you can send, people are gonna be super impressed, and it's not a difficult fold at all. And we're gonna create our own designer series paper too. So, all right, let's go ahead, talk about what we need. You don't need a ton. Um, this is that five and a quarter, uh, by eight and a half, why did my color suddenly go really wonky? Well, that's crazy. Well, welcome to live. All right, five and a quarter by eight and a half inches. And this is the one where I said, if you cut it down to four inches, don't worry, I've got you covered. So um, we're gonna need that. We're gonna do some scoring on that here in just a second. Then we're gonna need, I'm using some Magenta Madness. Of course, you guys know, you use your favorite colors. Uh, I've got a piece of Magenta Madness. This is a quarter sheet. So uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. 
That's a simple one. Um, we're also going to need a piece of basic white four by six. That's what we're gonna create our fabulous paper on. And then our sentiment on the front, um, if you guys are familiar with flashcards, that's what we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using um, flashcards. So I have basic black, two and three quarters by four and a quarter, and a piece of basic white, two and a half by four inches. That's all we need, pretty easy. Okay, let's go ahead and start with that scoring. And it looks like uh, YouTube does not like the color yellow. Okay, well, good to know. All right, remember, we're gonna not use our cutting blade. So get that out of your way. That's the dark one. We want the light one. And uh, we are gonna score this at one and three quarters inch, okay? Now we're gonna slide it down and we're gonna score again at five and three quarters of an inch. That's it. That's why I said, if you're a beginner, this one is gonna be fabulous for you. All right, now we can go ahead and give these a nice crease with our bone folder. And when I do that, this is where you can see, see how it overlaps? It's not, it's not meeting right in the middle. And it kind of gives us, again, it's just a little nice twist on it. You know what, I've got this here and then that is my magenta. We can go ahead and adhere that down. So let's go ahead and get that little step out of the way. And we'll just add that, it just sits nicely right in the middle. I love these colors together. It's gorgeous. Okay, now we're gonna make some homemade designer series paper. Real quick, I want to show you though, if you cut your cardstock at four inches, because Connie didn't have her brain intact the other day, um, this is what it will look like. You still create the same way, scoring all the same. I just cut things down, okay? Oh goodness, I really do apologize for that. But you know what? I really love how this card turned out. So I said, there's never a mistake. There's just creative opportunities and that's what we took today. All right, so I've got that four by six basic white. I'm gonna use the art gallery stamp set. Probably one of my all time favorite flowers ever. I love two step stamping. And let me grab my ink pads. I'm gonna start, I've got three colors today, Granny Apple Green, Daffodil Delight, and my Magenta Madness. I'm gonna start with the Daffodil Delight. Uh, because I'm gonna be using the same stamp um, several times, I want to always start with my lighter color. So we're gonna be creating this flower in both daffodil and in magenta. Now, I need some scrap paper underneath me, some grid paper, because this is the big focal image. I wanna stamp off once and then stamp on my cardstock because this is gonna give us a really great two-tone look. Stamp off, stamp on our cardstock, stamp off stamp on our cardstock. Now I'm gonna bring in some other flowers so I don't have to do too much more. I think I'll just do that. Okay, now this image, this is the overlay, okay? And I'm gonna ink that up. And what I love about this stamp, guys, you notice I'm not stamping off, but look at that. Look at, it just, it makes it look like watercolor. And I was just about to say, what I love about this stamp is if you don't get it, perfectly centered, it doesn't matter. It's supposed to have, look, I'm just ready. I'm not even gonna look. Look at that, and it's great. This is something I just love about two-step stamps. No matter what you do, you can't mess it up. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna slide that out of the way, and I'll go ahead and close up that ink pad. I have my chamois in here, and I need to clean this real quick. And we'll get this one, because we're gonna go and change colors. And so now I will bring in my Magenta Madness. And guys, we're gonna do this exact same method. Just everything that we just did. So remember, we'll ink it up. We'll stamp it off once. And I'm really making this very random. I didn't want the flowers going in one direction only. So we stamp off and we'll come about right there stamp off. If anything overlaps, it's okay. Don't worry about it. All right, it's all good. 
no matter what you do. There we go. Now, remember, we're going to come in with the, 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 what we're going to call the solid, okay? The, the, this is what's good. This is the beauty <laughs> right here. This, look at that. I mean, pow, this color. Oh, magenta madness. I love you so, so much. And remember what I said. It doesn't matter if you get it straight and, and centered. It's, it's still gorgeous. It's all good. All right. <clears throat> so I've got that done. Now we're going to really pop. Are you ready? We're going to come in with some black ink. And this is the little center to the flower. Okay. Are you ready for, for wowsiness? Here we go. Pow. Oh, it just, it makes these flowers just jump off the page. I'm telling you. Love, love, love. And we'll get these last ones here. Oh, let's see. That one might need just, just a little bit. Okay, so we've got some really great color going there. But now we're going to add some leaves with our granny apple green. You could also use old olive or shaded spruce, whatever you want. Um, but I have a tip for you. So this leaf has a stem. And I don't necessarily want the stem. So here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I am going to just, do you see how, whoops, I know it's got a light there. I'm just hitting the edge, okay? And so I'm not going to ink up that stem. I don't want that. And now what I can do is come in here and I can stamp that leaf. And see, it didn't, it didn't ink up anything there. Now the hard part is remembering to do it again and not you know, let the leaves go everywhere. And I didn't leave myself quite as much space as I normally do. So let's see what I can do here. I'm going to add one here. Remember what I said, if it over, see what I just did? I told you I can't talk and stamp at the same time. But guess what? I can just clean it. Remember, no mistakes, just creative opportunities. Okay, let's try that again. I told you I do it every time. All right, we're going to ink up just the leaves this time. And you see, we can just kind of add, it just gives me this little bit of pop. Now, like right here, if you can't get to it, let's not worry too much because we can always come in um, after we've done our cutting. And if we need to add any more um, of that green, we could do it then. So we're going to go ahead and stop there for just a second. It's gorgeous. I'm so tempted to just go create a ginormous um, sheet of this and create my own designer series paper. It is so pretty. All right, uh, you know what? But real quick, before I go and put everything away, um, I am gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And my sentiment, okay, so Art Gallery has fabulous sentiments and I love this font, but it's a little small for what I wanted to do. So I decided to change it up a little bit and I'm gonna bring in best chapter. I loved this, you are strong, brilliant, and beautiful. Fabulous, fabulous stamp from Best Chapter. So we're gonna bring in um, our magenta one more time. And I'm just gonna stamp that in the center of that cardstock. All right, well now I say we do a little die cutting, all right? So for this particular card, and you can do whatever um, dies or you can just cut these down to whatever size you want. I love the Stitch So Sweetly dies, love these. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find the one that fits inside that basic black. That means I'm gonna go down one size to get uh, the, the sentiment there. All right, so for this, I'm gonna use my little, my little baby, my baby machine. I love this little guy. Um, because these smaller dies just fit perfect. So we're gonna take platform one and we're going to take platform two. By the way, you can do this with your big machine as well. It's just, you know, we kinda, we kinda love this little mini guy. This is the one I like to take whenever I'm in my RV. It's so nice to have. It's just little enough, doesn't take up much space, but I can still craft while I, uh, while I camp. All right, so there's my basic black. Now let's do that sentiment. And we'll line that one up. 
So I'm trying to read comments as I go. Uh, as you can see by my brilliant method there that I did with my stamping, talking and stamping is not a gift of mine. So I hope some of you guys are crafting along with me. So if you can, let me know. Let me know what you're making and what stamp sets you used. Okay, let me just set this off to the side. So there is our die cuts. Now remember what I said, if you didn't have a die set or you didn't have this particular one, you could use your stitched rectangles. Uh, really just get creative with what you want. But there, that's gonna be my sentiment for on top of my card. So now all the stamping is done. Now comes the fun part. Now we're gonna take this four by six and we're gonna cut it up. So bring my paper trimmer back in. And the first thing we wanna do is we wanna cut this down to, I gotta think, five inches. <laughs> Goodness, the last thing I wanna do is cut wrong. We're gonna cut it down to five inches. So there's four, six inches is up here, cutting it down to five, all right? Hold on to that piece. Now we're gonna rotate this around and I want to cut this at one and a half inches. You know what, I think I'm gonna do this side. Let's do one and a half inches. And uh, then I need a two and a half inches. And it's already two and a half inches. I thought it was, but I just wanted to be sure. All right, remember this little one inch piece that we used? We're gonna cut it in half. So I have a measurement at half an inch right in between. Easy, easy. Hold this down, hold down your, um, your bar so that that paper doesn't slide around on you. So there are those two pieces. Uh, I do wanna point out, remember I said earlier that if there was a space where you needed more of the green, you could do it here. I'm actually quite happy with it. So I don't think I'm gonna do uh, any more stamping on it. So now we're gonna take these pieces and we're gonna add these to our two gate panels. Well, stubborn little adhesive today. So while I'm doing this, uh, I had an interesting week. Interesting, that's, that's definitely the word. So I had to go in for a procedure. I think I'll call it an inspection. You know that inspection that you're supposed to have done on your body when you're 45 years old? And by the way, if any of you think I'm 45 years old, God bless you. No, I am not. I am many years past uh, my yearly inspection. Uh, so I had to do the fun liquid diet all day on Monday. <laughs> I am not built for a for a uh, all liquid diet, let me just tell you. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I have this part done. And guess what? I left a piece over um, at my table. So we're gonna improvise. <clears throat> we're gonna take the, a piece of basic white and we're gonna put this in here. This is uh, cut four inches. I gotta think, no. This is cut, I wanna make sure I say it right. Yes, four, you know what, I have to measure. I can't do it, I just can't do it. Let's see. Three and three quarters, see, don't listen to Connie, she's wrong. Three and three quarters by five inches. I'll get it, I'll get it, okay. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna add these little pieces. Oh, you know, my goodness, I forgot to tell you to trim those down, my bad. We are gonna trim these down to three and three quarters. I like to pick the end that I feel like it needs the most cut off, like it's cutting off a lot. It's this tiny little piece, but three and three quarters. Oh, come on, little guy. So yeah, I, uh, I had the, uh, the thrill of going in for my very first inspection. And uh, <laughs> can I just tell you guys something? I hate IVs, I hate them. Look, look at how my vein was very unhappy. Anyway, hate those, they're the worst. And I was telling the anesthesiologist, I said, can't you just give me a pill or something? I really, I hate IVs. And anyway, he's like, no, we kind of have to do it this way. He said, but, you know, if you don't like IVs, I do need to warn you. Here in just a second, you're going to feel, you know, kind of a burning going through that. And I said, oh, yeah, there it is. And that was the end of it. I didn't know. I don't remember anything after that. 
I think anesthesia is just like the wildest thing. It just blows my mind that you're, I mean, I can literally remember just saying, oh yeah, there it is. And, and I didn't even get the words all the way out before I was completely out. So I always like to say that's, that's a very expensive way to get a good nap. But hey, I can say um, I am done with that for the next eight to 10 years. And I saw some of you saying you've had an inspection. Oh, Mary says the prep is worse than the procedure. Right? Oh, my goodness. But did you know what they told me I could have? Gummy bears. They said, you can eat gummy bears. And I'm like, I lived on gummy bears on Monday. Yep, that's what I did. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, you do what you have to do. If I have to live on gummy bears, so be it. All right, so um, in that best chapter stamp set, there was also a sentiment that went along with this. Sometimes we can't do it alone. That's why I'm here for you. And I thought that went so well with this um, sentiment on the front. So let's stamp. I lied to you again. I told you I was done stamping and I wasn't. Boy, Connie, you just, I, I'm blaming it on the inspection. That's, that's what my problem is. <laughs> yeah, it was not my, not my favorite way to spend, spend a day, but all is well, and like I said, I'm done for another eight to 10 years. I know more about Connie than you ever wanted to know. So my apologies, my friends. Okay, so we've added those strips. There is the front of our card. Now, let me bring this in because I really wasn't paying attention, but guess what? It doesn't matter. So on this card, I put the short uh, gate on the left side. Well, guess what I just did? I put it on the right. Doesn't matter. Isn't that nice? It just does not matter. So we're going to take um, just the basic black. We're going to center it up. And here's what I like to do. I flip it over, you know, because there is a right and a wrong side when you die cut. And I can see now right where I need my adhesive because it can't go over on this flap. If I were to put adhesive all the way around it, well, that's no longer a gatefold. It's sealed shut. We do not want that. So this... My goodness, I'm just having issues with my stamp and seal today. Okay, center that up. There we go. We'll add this right here. Okay, this is why I said flip it over, because now when I flip it over this way, I know I'm perfectly centered with that adhesive. But I am going to just gently set it down. I don't want to press it down yet. I just want to make sure I don't have any adhesive there, and I don't, so I'm good, so we can give that a press. Now, we're going to take that fabulous sentiment, and I love to add dimensionals to everything. I just, you know, here's the thing. We want to wow them, right? Whenever we send a card, we've put all this time into our art, and we want it to be amazing. And so I love adding Stampin' Dimensionals because it really sets my card up. Uh, apart from anything that you could get in, you know, a store. And we want, we want to send the wow statement. We're going to add that right here to the center. And I think it's gorgeous, but let's add some ribbon. I love adding ribbon to a card. So we're going to take the black glittered organdy ribbon. Now, I didn't give you a measurement for that because I honestly prefer to leave it on the spool. I use less that way. And so let me go at this this way so I can tie a good square knot here. So what I wanna do, I just left it here on the spool. We're gonna go right over left and under, and then we're gonna give that, move that little guy over. We're gonna give it a tug. See how it kind of tightens it up and I'm pulling up and down? That's what you wanna do. Now we're gonna go left over right and under, maybe, there it is. And I always like to say, pull what's in your left hand. You'll get a really nice square knot that way. And we'll just trim that off. This is why I said, look, no waste. None at all. We love that. So now we can move that ribbon around. Let me just kind of slide it down. I hope that you guys were able to create a fun gate fold, even if you made the little, the little square one. 
But yeah, so you can see you've got options. You can have the big panel here. You can have the small panel here. Either way, it's all good. Really a great card. And again, like we said, we love having cards that are a little bit unique. Okay, how about we make another one? You guys wanna do another one? This one, uh, we're gonna create this one here. And this is all featuring the um, Hello Beautiful bundle. This has been one of my favorites too from the mini catalog. And uh, I love the sentiment. First of all, you're amazing because that this this card is gonna be perfect for my girls. And except I don't think I'll say so happy to know you because that would just be weird if mom said so happy to know you. But um, I think this is gonna be a great one for a friend. And let's talk about this designer series paper for a minute. So this is the Abstract Beauty designer series paper. And guess what? It's already cut four by six. You're all set. And so that's what kind of inspired my card today is I thought, oh, let's see what we can do as a little one sheet wonder with this four by six. And this cuts down perfectly. Now we've already done the cutting, but how about we do it one more time? So we're gonna bring in our trimmer. And remember, we're gonna cut off one inch because we want a four by five. So there's that one inch piece, set that off to the side. Then we cut two, one and three quarters, leaving us our two and a half. This time I'm gonna to remember to cut this one down to three and three quarters. And now we'll cut it down to half an inch. Um, I'm really enjoying this four by six paper. I feel like I get a lot, just I kind of get a little more options out of it. So loving that. There's our cutting. And uh, let's go ahead and do our scoring. And actually, you know what? I did it in advance for you. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna use Blushing Bride. Remember that was five and a quarter by eight and a half. Scored at, you know what? I cut that wrong. Oh my goodness gracious, I did. I cut it wrong. And you know what? What did I tell you guys? It's a creative opportunity. We're gonna cut this down to one and a half because Connie's a dingbat today. It's all right, because you know what? We're just gonna cut it a little bit smaller. Again, love these creative opportunities. All right, so it was four inches. We're now going to go four and three quarter. We're just, we're changing it up, everybody. We're just changing it up. So this one should have been two and a half, and now you can see it is not. So we're just gonna cut a quarter inch off. Oh my goodness, sometimes I wonder why you guys even Stick with me when I do silly things like this. Okay, well, that's just the beauty of live. Okay, so this one, as you can see, we're just gonna have a much bigger border around it. No, I didn't cut that one down enough. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah, it was supposed to be one and a half, so now I need to go one and a quarter. You know what, I'll, you know me, I'll find some use for these things. It's all good, everybody. It all, it all works. And you know what? It's probably a good thing that this happened because this kind of allows you to see this is how we fix those paper boo-boos and we do them. Just like my big one where I gave you the wrong measurement, I'm like, nope, we'll, we'll make it work. So you see, all I'm doing is I'm just making that panel a little bit larger. If I'd cut it right, that would have been awesome too. So there you go. For anyone who cut incorrectly, You've just learned how to fix a boo-boo. All right, we'll add that one. All right, and of course this um, is gonna go onto a piece of Just Jade, matches that color in the designer series paper. We'll add that. You know what, actually, I think I might like that extra border of that Blushing Bride. That's actually really pretty. Remember, we can decide which direction we want um, that flap to go. And let's see what we're gonna do with this one. So we're gonna use the Hello Beautiful stamp set and love this one. Okay, I love stamping blobs. I don't know if they have a real name. They are stamping blobs to me. These are some of my favorite stamps when I don't wanna color something in because I can take this stamp and I can put it over a flower or I can put it behind a sentiment and I can do something great with them. So I am a big fan of stamping blobs. So, hello beautiful, let me get my grid paper here again. Um, I have got a three by three 
and a two and three quarter by two and three quarter. Uh, this is just, you know what? My goodness, could I mess up anything else? I didn't even get the right color. I'm a hot mess. I'm just a hot mess. Uh, and then basic white. Ooh, look, Connie got that color right. Gosh, okay. That's what happens when you have a procedure. <laughs> All right, let me get to some ink pads. Oh, good. Connie brought in the right ink pads. Blushing Bride and Just Jade. Watch, it's actually going to end up being beautiful. You know it is. All right, let's start with Blushing Bride. <laughs> How many of you are going, I think we're done with Connie. She has lost her mind. No, I promise you, I have not. Okay, there's that fabulous blob. I'm going to ink it up in Blushing Bride. Let's stamp off once. Stamp right there in the middle. Oh, I'm glad you guys think I'm a hoot because I, I just, <laughs> it's just, I told you it's been a week. It's just been a crazy week. Okay, just Jay, don't, don't, don't mess around on me here. Let's make this happen. All right, we are going to say, first of all, you're amazing. Well, this is definitely not a card for me today. First of all, you're a hot mess. If it said that, I'd be all set. Okay, we'll stamp our sentiment there. Look at this, we have these cute little, I don't know, swirly guys, and we're just gonna stamp that. I stamped off first, again, I kinda like that, that look of stamping off, gives it a little bit different, different appeal there. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Let me move this ink pad so I don't go and, I don't know, land my white jacket in it. Uh, this bundle has some really incredible dyes. And we're gonna use this one, and I know you probably can't tell, it's got some fun little swirl embossing marks in it. So we're gonna use that on our, not just Jade, <laughs> on that. And then look at this, we have a circle that's going to work perfect with my sentiment. So bringing in my little mini machine again. Let's run these through. So plate one, plate two, not just jade. <laughs> like I said, you know what? Sometimes we make these mistakes and that's when we go, well, look at that. That looks really great. We'll see. If it doesn't, guess what? I have a card already made that I can show you. So it's all good. All right, now I hope that you can see, see how it's got that great emboss uh, marks in it, love that. Now, let me come in with my sentiment. We'll put that in there. All right, one more swipe through. I just love this little machine for these smaller dies. Okay, there is my sentiment. And here is what we're gonna do. Um, we are going to take all of this, and for this one, I think I'm going to put um, the smaller, the shorter flap, and then we're going to put these, and I want to kind of off-center them just a little bit. Um, so you guys remember my trick. We're going to flip it over, center it up, so that I can just add my adhesive just on the one side, okay, flip over again, make sure I'm getting that straight. Before I press it down, look to make sure you don't have any adhesive showing, I'm good there. Uh, how about some more Stampin' Dimensionals, if I can find them, there they are. There's always a ton on my desk. And if you guys are anything like me, you know when you craft, it's like, tsunami hit your room so all right we're gonna add our dimensionals and like I said we're just gonna kind of put that off to the side um I got some ribbon and this is a really awesome ribbon this is the just jade and gold so it's got these gold flecks in it I really love this stuff and we're gonna do that same square knot but we're gonna do something a little bit different with this ribbon, give myself a little bit more here. And we're gonna do our square knot again, but this time we're gonna kind of center it up in this circle, okay? So we will go right over left and under. Remember, tug up and down, left over right and under, and 
pull what's in your left hand, grab my scissors. So I'm gonna trim this down. By the way, I want you to see this, this ribbon, it, it's the nature of this ribbon. It is going to unravel and that's okay because let me show you what we're gonna do. Just, if it's gonna unravel, um, we're gonna make it unravel and we're gonna make it fluffy. First of all, let me give that a good tight press. Look at this stuff. And it's like, it, it makes like little fringe and it's just, and all you gotta do is just kind of separate it out and it goes very fast, but that's just a little bit long. We'll trim a little bit more off of that, okay? And then we can do the same thing over here. Again, just spread it apart. And I love that it kind of gives me options with this ribbon that it's not going to automatically unravel. I don't wanna you know, lead you guys to believe that, but look at that. It kind of just looks like a really neat little fringe. Now, let me show you the inside of this card, um, it's here, there it is. Uh, the reason I'm showing you the inside is because I had to swipe this piece <laughs> to do my other cards. So uh, I just did that same technique. So that is stamped off once in Blushing Bride and uh, the third generation, second generation, third generation. But so happy to know you. There are those little extra strips. There's that fabulous little, um, oh, there's what it should have looked like. But you know what? Okay, I, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think it looks bad at all in mint macaron. I think I'm perfectly fine. So, nope, this card can be used. Yay! <laughs> so there we go. Um, now I, want, I have one more card I wanna show you. We're not gonna make this one, but I wanted to show it to you. And that is, you can skip the designer series paper altogether. Just skip it. This is the um, uh, All Squared Away bundle. And I hope you can see, I did embossing there with the checks and dots embossing folders. And so I just put that piece through my uh, machine. And then I put that piece through my machine. Uh, this one says, you're so worth celebrating. And the front of it, the best thing about today is you. And there's, I just stamped uh, behind it. There's that organdy ribbon again, that black glittered organdy ribbon. Added a little rhinestone. Uh, this one I did in the Daffodil Delight and polished pink and shaded spruce. So I thought that one was just really, really fun. So let me go ahead and bring all three cards and my little bonus card. We'll go ahead and bring that little guy in too. So there we go. You can make your own designer series paper. You can use designer series paper. And if you don't have designer series paper or you're in the mood for embossing, why not emboss it? And just use this gatefold as a layout. This image here can be anything. I mean, absolutely anything. If you wanna just uh, die cut a flower or punch a flower and put that on there, you guys, you do you. It's just a very, very simple technique, but it has a wow factor. Uh, okay, so before um, I wrap things up, I've got just a couple other things I wanna share with you. Um, let's talk about the cards we're gonna create in next our next live, which is February 17th. So first I wanna show you my inspiration. I created this Valentine card for my hubby. Don't tell, don't, don't tell him. But I made just a simple little Valentine card for him. He keeps every Valentine I've made him. But this is with the Sweet Talk paper. And it's obviously a very Valentine paper, right? And I thought, well, I still have a lot of this. What am I gonna do? Do you know what the opposite side of this paper looks like? I'll give you one guess. It looks like this. So I took it from Valentine's, because by February 17th, when we meet again, Valentine's Day is over. So what are we going to do with that seasonal designer series paper? We don't know what to do with it. We're going to flip it over and we're going to create a totally different card. And here I just made a simple thank you card, a really fun little layout. And um, we've got those two cards and then I've got two more. And this one, I thought this, isn't this amazing? I mean, they're so dramatically different. So uh, this one, I used the Flowering Fields Designer Series paper, flipped it over, and that's what's on the other side. And I made a big, bold thank you card. So guys, we're gonna do some creative things with Designer Series paper. It's another simple layout that you're gonna be able to use again and again.
And so I hope you'll join me for that. I've got one more thing to share. How about some show and tell? You guys want some show and tell? I get so many cards um, sent to me. And I thought, you know what? The, this is a great opportunity for me to show off what you guys send me. So this lovely card was sent to me by Trudy in New Mexico. She used the uh, Blessings from Home bundle. Look at this. I love this because she didn't do any coloring. All she did is stamped it, that in the um, Misty Moonlight. And it's gorgeous with that paper. And look at those little brass butterflies. Fabulous card. Here's another one that I got. This is actually from one of my team members. She's one of the stampers on my team. And uh, this one is from Kathleen. And she is from uh, Michigan. That's right. She's from Michigan. She made me this great Valentine's card. And I'm telling you, this thing was so over the top. I was, I mean, look at that silver foil. And then when you open it up, look at all of this. Oh my goodness. She had, she's got that stamped uh, heart, which she die cut, put right there. Now I got to show you this. Look at this. Even on the back, she stamped handmade for you and another little heart, really an over the top card. Uh, this I believe is the always in my heart stamp set and the floral heart dies. And then she added some of those red rhinestones. Gorgeous. So if you need an idea for a Valentine card, boy, Kathleen nailed it. I've got one more to share with you. Uh, this one was sent to me by Anne. She's from Georgia. She used one of my favorite stamp sets, Free as a Bird, and I just have to compliment Anne on her gorgeous watercoloring. Absolutely gorgeous watercoloring on those birds. And she sent me just a very nice thank you card. So just a little shout out. Thank you guys so much for sending me some happy mail. It made me happy. And I thought, I'm going to share with everyone else. Okay, give me just one second. I'm going to flip my camera again around again so I can just say a proper goodbye. Uh, oh, it's always fun to end a live when you're wearing a white jacket and see if you made it without um, getting ink all over your sleeves. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today and all my craziness. It happens. Oh, you know what? I've been promising you guys to see Tugger. He's right over here. He's asleep, but let me see if I can get him to come over here. Tugger, come here. I told you, he's a puppy and he doesn't listen very well. Come here. Come see me. Watch this. Do you want a treat? You want a treat? Come here. Oh my gosh, that didn't even get him up. <sighs> I guess we're going to have to try again next week. He's just, he's just tired. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He is just staring at me like, no. No, I cannot. You cannot put me on your life. He is. He's just sitting there staring. I'm sorry, my friends. We'll try again next week. He is a whopping 13 pounds now, so he's getting bigger. He's my little Corgi Terrier mix, and um, he's about three and a half months old, and he's doing really, really good. He's just stubborn, aren't you? Yeah, doesn't like to come when he's called. All right, guys, I hope to see you all again. Um, first of all, make sure you come back on Tuesday for my Tuesday tip. This is like mind-blowing tip. I mean, mind-blowing tip. It is incredible. It's a DIY, and you're going to love that one. And then uh, plan on join me, joining me again um, on Thursday, February 17th. We'll do another live, and we'll stamp together. Remember, we've got those great cards. It's going to be a great opportunity for you to use up some of that seasonal paper. When you're done with it, we're going to create. So I hope you'll join me. Have a great day, everybody. Go send some happy mail to someone. Make it a good one. Bye.